Hello, this is uh, my PS4, and this is Arcade Archive's Double Dragon that I'm starting up. It, it's in, it's one of the first Arcade Archive releases, and it, it didn't even have a return to to uh, you know title screen function on it, so I had to quit all the way out. Here's the title screen. Double Dragon, copyright 1987, Technos Japan. Uh, the first, like, kind of big actual beat-em-up. Technos had done some quasi-beat-em-up. Well, they'd done Renegade before this, and uh, uh, anyway, that's that was kind of the other big one before. But um, I haven't played Double Dragon in a while. I was getting worried that maybe it wasn't as good as I as I used to think it was. I've, I've played I, for a while. I started thinking that beat 'em ups were just a kind of BS genre, and maybe this was the only sort of worthwhile thing of its type that had been made and everything else was just kind of messed up somehow. But I played some actual uh, beat-em-ups lately that I really think are good. And so now I got scared. Like, what if Double Dragon actually isn't very good? Because it's got problems. I mean, let's face it, it's got problems. The controls are weird. For instance... Uh, oh, I'm cutting off the screen, so you're not going to be able to see this. So anyway, it's got a, um, it's got three buttons, uh, well, no, did I just change my, for Pete's sake, I just reprogrammed the buttons. Oh, no. Uh, I think I had punch there. Okay, hopefully that's it, because... In the arcade, the layout sort of made sense, but on the stick, you gotta figure it back out. So there's a there's a punch button, there's a kick button, and there's a jump button. And but when you jump, and this kind of goes back to or forward to directional controls, because when you jump, if you push the kick button, it only that only works if you're jumping to the left. If you're jumping to the right and you want to do a jump kick, you have to jump and then hit the punch button, which is bizarre, just bizarre. But Technos, they they had this idea of of uh, buttons being directions, kind of independent of the stick. So in like Double Dragon Two, is it or is it Ren? I, anyway, there's one of those where it's all it's like pure directional buttons, and you have to hit the right direction buttons to. Anyway, it's it's bizarre. In this game, they they were sort of halfway between directional buttons and buttons that just did whatever, you know, based on the way you were facing, which is the way that we all are used to games being ever since then, because it's just a lot easier to understand. But they hadn't quite figured that out completely. They're in this weird halfway state when they made Double Dragon. And then there's the other, uh, another move, which is, uh, well, actually, two other moves. So punch plus jump is an elbow, which is, does, is based on your facing, and that goes backwards. I don't use elbow because it hits everything, because the AI doesn't defend against it. So they just walk right, they just don't even know. So I don't use that because it just makes the rest of the... I mean, why use any other attack? Basically, you can take down the biggest the biggest guy in the game. You just do this, and he runs right into it every time. Um, and then there's a back attack, which I think also they don't avoid very well. If you hit jump and kick, it does that. Yeah. It's, it's harder to do, though, so that might be a little more fair to the AI if you really cared about such a thing, but it, I find it clunky, so I just don't even, don't even use it. And then it's just punch to use the whip. One other... Well, so there's a lot of slowdown, which you'll start to see soon. One problem with this game, too, which you won't see for a while, I won't be able to demonstrate for a while, is that kick seems really good at first, but then opponents start to crouch underneath kick because it goes high. So they'll just crouch underneath it, and then you're, you're just wasted because they just crouch and then beat the snot out of you as you miss them. Um, scoop, Moto, uh, so that's kind of a problem with the game. You basically have to just start relying on, well, unless you're going to do the elbow, which is the, the way to win, but 
you just have to start relying on jump kicks or just punch. You don't even get to, it's like kick doesn't even exist anymore because it just gets you killed. Uh, speaking of getting killed, I should try to do a little better. I'm not getting it done. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I... I don't usually go for the whip, I guess. Now the bat. Oh, the bat. Oh, there's headbutt if you push twice in the same direction. The AI is very good at, at moving away from you so you might not be able to jump kick them. My gosh. I'm just getting completely pounded. I can't get any weapon. I should just quit and start the recording over. Oh no, I did that before when I was t uh, testing sound. I just got caught on this friggin' heck. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get out of this. I gotta shape up. Golly. I cannot hold on to this stupid bat. Uh, I was just playing, um, Konami's, also in the arcade archives, series of emulated reproductions by Hamster, uh, he's playing Arcade Archives Crime Fighters, which Konami made in 89. So, what, three years later? Oh, they're slowed out. Somebody must be coming. Somebody big, maybe. And, uh, like, the characters are way smaller than in Double Dragon. forgotten how to play this game. Jeez, right into the clap. I mean, when this game came out in the arcades, it was, yeah, it was really impressive. There hadn't really been anything to compare with it. Like, Renegade was not... He didn't have sort of these big, huge, free-scrolling environments so much. I didn't, although, I don't know if I ever saw Renegade in the arcade. when I, I might have been too young. But seeing it later, it didn't impress me, that's for sure. Oh my gosh! And, um, ow. And Double Dragon just felt like this big gangland fight thing. It was crazy. It was just all kinds of stuff could happen. You had all kinds of moves. The sounds were really beefy. Golly, jeepers. Oh my gosh, that was awful. Awful playing, I mean. Like, I really like this stage, because now you've got a guy chucking dynamite. And he blew himself up, that kind of crazy stuff can happen. Or oh, wait, that was the other guy? Anyway. Um, you could throw the dynamite, you could throw boxes, you could knock people off this ledge if you could get them and go over there. Or you could throw them off if you could do it like that in that direction. Or you could get knocked off if you screwed up. Um, you could climb this fence thing. You could flop on the ground. <laughs> you could 
jump up these crazy girders. Hey, get... Oh, oh headbutt it. Oh, not that time. Man, even with two characters, it slows down that much. I kind of forgot that. Get off my ledge. There were just all these... It just felt so... Like you had so much freedom to do stuff compared to earlier games. The characters were big and expressive. It was fast when there was... At least when there was only one enemy on screen, it was really fast. The music was cool. Oh, boy. Oh, see, he crouched under that even. Nice vest. Nice chest, nice vest. Look at that, those big clamps holding that pipe to the wall. Look at that crazy pipe work they did. Danger, danger. There's tons of slow down here. Can't pick that up. Once the boss arrives, there's a ton of slowdown. But, like, the slowdown didn't bother me in the arcade. Like, I didn't... It didn't really occur to me to, to complain about it because, again, you know, there was nothing else I could do this stuff. Throwing a button in midair. Ah, I had a C64 and I always wanted a game at home that I could play at home that was like Double Dragon. I think, was there a Double Dragon port on C64, but it was just awful? I mean, which, you know, of course, this C64 couldn't handle this stuff. Ah. I thought there was a move you could you could straddle people in this game and punch their lights out while they were on the ground, but maybe that was not until the NES one. The NES one was was you know was quite good for a home game. I didn't really like the whole leveling up business you have to do in that one to get all the moves. It's like, well, why do you why do you have to do that in the arcade? You just have all the moves. slow down. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, it had this guy who was kind of a sub-boss, you know? That was kind of a new thing. For a, like, platform-style game. Ah. I think. Wasn't it? I don't know. I always thought it was remarkable. This boss always felt like kind of the evil version of you. He's got similar clothes. I guess I've got a vest too. I can't make fun of somebody else's vest. You could ride this conveyor belt to your doom if you had to. But you could also get other guys to fall off. Ah, see, he fell off. Uh oh. <laughs> it didn't matter, I was dead anyway. I keep hitting that button wrong. Ah. What? Dang. Elbows, huh? Oh, that's not the elbow. I keep getting the buttons all crazy screwed up. There's your elbow. 
just to, just to even the score. Man. You have people riding elevators. Getting out of elevators to come whoop on you. Oh, God. Jeez. This is so bad. Every time I play this game, I've been getting worse. I've just been going longer and longer between playing Devil Dragon games. It just gets worse and worse. Oh, yeah, you run. <laughs> oh, no. Speaking of getting worse. Oh. What a shambles. I, I was better at this game when I was, what, seven years old or whatever. Now I'm old and decrepit. Arg! Why is it so much faster now? There's no conveyor belt. Oh my gosh. That was kind of lucky. Ah! Uh, Wow. Wow, man. I think I used to just jump kick a lot in the arcade. It was usually much safer than trying to punch. No. If you have to do it uh, closer to the opponent, kind of. So you're sort of getting him on the up, uh, way. Ow. Up way, yeah. Ow. Getting them on the rise, as it were. Hey. You can't handle my tricky move. Dang it. Okay. That's a much worse weapon. Oh man. I still can't pick that up. <laughs> totally horrible with the whip. Uh, wrong buttons. Give me the bat, give me the bat. Oh my gosh. None of this is nonsense. I can't mm, go so long without playing the game and just become complete garbage at it. So I'd say that so far, I mean, yeah, it's got it's got like all these rough edges, but like somehow they're they're kind of endearing. You know, they make you want to just just try to overcome them rather than give up. In disgust, at least so far. I don't know. But maybe that's just because it was the only thing like it that we had back in the day. Ow. But still, even considering all the arcade beat em ups and so forth we have access to on whole machines now. I still think there's something about the first Double Dragon that that most of them just didn't quite get. I mean, so many games came out trying to imitate Double Dragon. God. This music in this game is so good. 
and they just didn't get it. I mean, Double Dragon, it's just a crazy game. Like, you can, you can kind of see why it would be hard to imitate because, I mean, there's no real logic to what's going on here. So much of it doesn't make sense, so much of how it's put together just feels like it shouldn't work at all. The slowdown is just bizarre, like if you didn't have whatever quality it is that makes the slowdown horrible as, as it is, somehow bearable, if it was just off by a fraction of whatever, it would just be completely terrible. Forgotten how to fight the abobos. Not using the elbow. I mean, I think back in the day I used the elbow a lot too. I don't think I understood that you could just spam it constantly. So I always hated this part too, because you can't quite tell where the actual edge you can step to is. It's not. You can't get right up to the edge there or you'll fall in. Like that last plank or two is not not really safe. Uh, and then you think you're going to run into the edge of the screen and it's going to slow down and scroll and that kind of makes me screw things up too. Yeah, I'll blame the scrolling. Yeah, I did it. Hey, thanks for helping me down the bridge there. Oh, see, there was no slowdown for a second. Then it, it was. I think it's just loaded. Oh no! Oh. It just loaded in more guys from. Oh, I cheaped out. Yeah, those guys. See, we haven't got to the point where they're crouching under the kick yet. Yeah. Too much recovery time. That was the wrong move. I meant to do a jump kick. Hit the buttons in the wrong order. Oh, I forgot that knife was there. Dang it. It made me crouch. Oh, he turned around. Wow. But yeah, like, every rough edge in this game just feels like the game is just being tough. Oh no. Oh no. Oh man, I can't believe it. I should believe it. I've been failing every other way. Pick it up. Pick it up. Ace. Oh, God. Wow. Fell for that old routine. Can't even pick up a knife. What? Is, what the heck? Fell in the water again. Got bounced in the water. Can't hit these guys for nothing. Oh yeah, that's right. So they don't necessarily drop the knife when they die. It's like on the first knockdown. Oh my gosh. I just can't stop getting hit in all kinds of new ways. But that's the thing, like there's so much different ways, so many different ways you can get hit. It's just a, it's just a crazy game, man. What can you say? I'm just getting the buttons confused. Oh wow, that was sweet. Oh, see, so you can get hit while you're trying to knee another guy in the face. Ooh. Why couldn't I pick up that knife earlier? Gosh, dang it. I failed at a jump kick. My gosh. I failed at another jump kick. I failed at another jump kick. Oh yeah, because I'm hitting just completely the wrong buttons. What the... What's that guy doing? Ugh. Oh, man. I 
I keep getting stuck to the bottom of the screen. Oh. Oh, eat crouched. Okay, so we're into crouching time now. Not too bad. Dang it. They keep popping me. He turns around sometimes after he lands a couple kicks. It's weird. I guess it's after a knockdown and he kind of spins. Invade the enemy's base. Y'all just fall on my face into the enemy's base, more likely. I always liked this fight. Uh, like so. Um, because... At least I know I'm gonna suck it up. Like, this guy is like your alter ego. And it just feels like this really intense fight because I'm garbage, but... Oh, I can't even do it. Because he can do all the moves you can do. Oh! Wow. Maybe some I don't even know how to do. Hey. Oh, no. oh, then the second one comes, and then it's like, okay. Like in the arcade, I would definitely like be doing the elbow by then, I think. I've lost track of which one I was beating up. Guess it was that one. Ugh. Oh, my elbow me, huh? Oh, upper, I don't see, I don't, I don't know about that uppercut. Ah! Hey. Oh my gosh. about this. Uh, I don't think it's going to tell me. Elbow strike. High kick. Flying kick. Uh, headbutt. Okay. Ow! Oh. Jeez, the drop kicks. Good, I can't get him in a head block. No, he just breaks out of it. I got him. Oh my gosh. him. Oh, that's a bad idea. Oh, shoot. Now those are out of... Oh. I needed that rock. Is there another one over here? I don't think there... Uh... Crazy bug eyes on this guy. Like, what the heck? I mean, this is where it just goes off the rails completely. And really, the the, uh, the cave you go into here is kind of the, my least favorite part of the game because it goes from being isometric to strictly side scrolling and and having all these death pits you have to jump over and that's not very fun. Platformers are mostly not my thing, except for Super Mario. Ow! Oh man. 
Well, that completely failed. Uh, my ledge. Ooh. Oh, bounce him off the wall? Yeah, hit him in mid-jump? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> it's not doing a whole lot of damage to him, but... Oh, oh yeah, bounce him off the edge. This will get him eventually. Suck it up, freakish me. That's where I'm bizarro me. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Oh my gosh. See, this guy crouches a lot, I think. Ah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he crouches, so you can't really use kick anymore. Uh, wow. Well. Sheesh. Yeah. Oh, I got him up on the ledge. Awesome. Okay, stay there and let me punch your ankles. Yeah, I'm the best at this game. Uh. See, now you have this kind of nonsense obstacle course stuff. This is not quite 2D yet, but, uh, it's not doing it yet. Oh. What the heck? I broke that guy. Look at that. I've never seen that before. Wow. Rules. Hey guy, are you okay? Your face is gonna stick like that. I mean, I kind of want to hit him out of it, but I also kind of just want to leave him there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. Okay, poke, poke, poke. Wait, poke, poke. No. Poke, poke, poke. Wait. I don't know. What is your pattern, you jerk? Uh, whatever. Ow. Hey, where'd that guy come from? Oh, this is where he slowed down and gets super bad. Dang it, I meant to throw him from the... Because if you throw him while you're if you hit punch while you're kneeing him, you can throw him over your shoulder. But I've screwed that up every time I've tried to do it on purpose. So here's where slowdown gets super bad. Because they just throw like as many characters as they could at you without crashing. I think. Well, judging by what happened to that guy back there at the spears, maybe we're already on our way to crashing. Oh, cool. Oh, actually, wait, it's less... Where are they? Maybe I finished off the other... Maybe the last time I played this, I just ran straight through and didn't take those guys out, those small guys out, before I got here. So the slowdown was just horrendous. Ah. Yeah, it just doesn't work anymore. Go! figured out how to do this against two of them unless I could like get one of them stuck on a corner or something. Ah, I screwed that up. Shh. Yeah, I think again I would just resort to a lot of jump but see jump kicks actually don't work on these guys. Mm-hmm. 
I can kind of get in on him, but then I go through him and miss. precise timing in this game because of this slowdown. Like, uh, trying to be too fancy now and it just doesn't work. The slowdown just I can't judge anything. Yeah, I'm playing the slowdown. Ah oh, man. are hitting them now. Oh! Yeah, there's some kind of range where they can just pluck you out of the air. Ah. Uh. That was just the wrong darn button. I meant to jump kick. What am I doing? punching instead of jump kicking. Like I'm trying to jump kick but I hit punch, I just like skip hitting the jump button when I'm heading to the right. Okay, now I can't jump kick him again. Oh man. Yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna like that fight. Oh no, I think I did break it. Oh, because of that guy. go to bed. I can't redo this. Wow, I did break it. Can't go in there. What if I kill myself? No. Shh. Well, great. What if I continue? Ah, I can't believe it. I've never broken the game before. What the heck? This is a nightmare. Well, it's my chance not to screw up as bad. can't do the throw properly. There. Even that guy crouched though. I'm not getting maximum damage on this either. So, gosh. I cannot not 
get hit. Oh, I did there, finally. I'm gonna get slaughtered by these guys, so... Uh, better not to have the whip against them. Ow. Oh my gosh. No, it's my bet. Oh. I'm hitting the wrong button. He is so fast to pick the bat up. That's right, it's my bat now, Charles. Just the way you could have simultaneous hits was crazy. No, don't get stuck on the friggin' ladder. That weird old cat. Oh, he had a second knife, I forgot. Uh, kitty. A third knife. How did that miss? I guess this guy's basically a sub-boss right here. He's got his own music. Just like the green guy later. And then they become kind of normal guys eventually. There's just more of them. Ooh. Actually shouldn't have come over here because he's gonna try to grab that can. Uh, oh my gosh! How did I run into that? Say hello to my boot. Try it again. Maybe you'll make it this time. He's like, no, you go. Notice how that guy's mouth isn't bloody when he falls down, but this guy's mouth is. Hmm. Okay, come on. Let's just get a move on here. I ain't got all night. I already ended up getting stuck in the game hanging. Because of... I don't know what. I've never seen that before. That guy just froze in the between the two spear people. I beat the snot out of me. Ah. That was my first continue, I think. Oh. I can't stop getting hit by this chump. 
Slow down. Shouldn't let me get the bat back, you fool. Okay, it's just her, is it? So, I forgot there's another train load of girls. Dang it. Ah. to do. Oh. The whip is still bouncing. Ah, time going on here. I always hated how you couldn't keep the, the weapon between missions. Your character just chucks. It's like, why would you chuck it? That's stupid. Go. And the, the grab zone for the bat is weird. Where the slowdown is like based on their thought processes or something. Once there's more than one. Yeah, you trying to sneak around behind me? Too bad you ran into the wall, huh? Stop it. Oh, this guy's a jerk. Oh. Didn't take that into account. Oh, the rocket speed. God, I'm getting confused with the directional versus non-directional buttons. Get kicked to try to punch to the left. Mouse glove. Mickey says go right. I do hate the huge invisible wall right there. Ah. Okay, let's trade spots. Ah, it's so fast when there's just one person. One other person. Wow, 
Why don't you pick up that whip, Chuck? Well, you just don't have the animation frames to pull the whip? That's too bad. Look at the hairdos on those guys. Got how you've got guys here, some of whom have knives and some don't. Yeah, the guy does. Oh, he crouched to pick it up and I swung the bat right over his head. Uh, see, one of them supplies his own knives and the other has to go pick him up from the dropped ones. My bad. I forgot you'd jump up on those. This game's so wild, man. Ooh. So now wait, can he not throw another knife until that one that he threw and it's on the ground gets dealt with? Hmm. Ow! Oh. I should have got the knife. Well, now's my chance. Except I can't. Uh, why can't I pick up these knives? Yeah, I'm gonna go in the hole. Did it crash? Oh no, got a high score. Ah, uh, what? How am I moving this? Why is it so. Go! Ah, oh, come on! E. Yes, continue. Please let me get the knife. I just want... I can't pick it up. I'm going to fall down the hole. There. Gosh. You can't. Oh. Man, that sucked. Get the knife, you friggin' scumbag. I don't remember having that much trouble getting knives. Oh, he took the bat just as I was trying to get. Uh oh. Uh. Oh man, it's a lot of slow down. Good. are y'all gonna take? Oh, I think he fell down the hole. Ah, shoot. Go. Didn't really want to go for the bat there. God. Oh, okay. 
Oh man, now that he's got full speed back. It's like you have to sucker him in with that. Else they just hang back. I think you're turning your back. Come on. See, if I stand like this, he comes right in. That's why you can elbow him so easily. He'll go right for the rock. Oh my gosh, he got it away. Oh no, don't don't let the bat get out of the grab range. Ah! Oh, you took the bat too? Ah, I crouched to get the bat and he threw the rock over my head. I think the rock's out of reach now, though. Uh, oh, wait, go pick it up. Go get the rock. Okay, throw it at me. Good. I hope it's still over there. Oh, Bobo picked it up. No rock for you. Oh, I think it's out of range again, though. Okay, go get it and bring it over here, buddy. Oh, he threw it off screen again. You guys are not practicing rock conservation. Dang it. There could be priceless geodes in that rock. Could be the skull of our primitive lizard ancestors. Could be space aliens. Oh wait, I, oh no. Get the rock, man. You want it. Okay, bring it up here where it'll hit the cliff wall. Okay, good. Now throw it. Good boy. Wow, that was a delayed death sound from that other guy, wasn't it? Hey, no, don't. Don't lose the rock. Oh, you punk. You hit me and you lost. Ugh. I hate you. Oh, I guess that was the end anyway. I was thinking that was where you go to the green guy, but that's... Ah, oh, the bat. Okay, well, I didn't follow my bones that time. Oh, I still can't beat this guy. And the proper way to do this probably would just be to be patient and jump kick him a lot. the elbow, of course. Duh. Ooh. Forgot they can get out of that, though. Ah! Not me. I wonder if there is a way to get out of that. I... Yeah, try to do a fancy move. Ah. Oh, that was weird. I like teleported up there. What? He elbowed me. Uh. Yeah. Hey! Dang it. 
Dang it, what? Oh, this guy. Oh, the headbutts. Oh, the parries. Hey! Ah, mm. oh, the elbow. Drop kicks me. Punches ain't working at all. Chunk kick, not good enough. Yeah. Yeah, I knew he was dead because he didn't break out of it. Okay, let's... Oh shoot, don't kick it. Oh, I already killed all your buddies, huh? Oh, there goes the rock. Only I could knock him up onto the ledge again. No. Uh, well. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got scared, huh? Oh, now he can hit me. Clap, clap. Yeah, he just crouches. Hmm. Okay. Jeez. Oh, that was it. I could have... I could have got him up there, I think, if I had connected with that. Uh, the crouch. Speed up the jump kick. Well, now I got him up there. Okay, so if I get a guy frozen, I gotta just kill him. But these things didn't even come out before. Like, I've never seen that. I think I broke this game, or something's up with this. It's not shooting out the... dead, so we should be all right. <sighs> Everything's messed up here, though. Maybe I'm just knocking it. That was crazy. I was behind the bricks for a second as he busted out. I think I have a feeling this is going to break again. Just the way it's... feels like it wants to go. Ooh. Ah, the headbutt. The accidental headbutt. No! I can't get away because I keep double tapping, apparently. sandwich. Don't headbutt. Ah. Finally crouched. Don't headbutt. No. That would have been sweet if I could have turned and hit him from the other side. It's a kick, too. Ooh. Shoot. Ah, uh, what if we go... Oh, no, that's as far as we can go. Okay, never mind. Just get me a lot, I guess. Okay, yeah. Well, I didn't break it this time. That's good. I guess I have a story to tell the grandkids now about that one time I broke Double Dragon. I'll be like, what are you talking about, Grandpa? 
Wait, I'm not gonna have grandkids. What am I talking about? Grand nephew. Why aren't I gonna have grandkids? I mean, I guess, I guess this, I guess such a thing could befall me technically. I just don't think I could handle it. I wouldn't want them playing on my video machines. I'd be like, get off of my, get off of my video game, kid. Like, but Grandpa, you've been playing for five days. I don't care, I'm old. Trying to put me in the grave, kid? Is that your plan? So you can have a video console all to yourself? You'd be like, what's a video console, you crazy old bat? I'd be like, back in my day, we didn't just have... Video games appear in our brain. Or we did, but that was called imagination and it sucked. That's the crazy thing is if, you know, if this game was moving at its full non-lag speed, everybody would be moving like too fast for you to even think about doing this stuff. Look at that crazy lumpy skull in the wall. Right there. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess that's why you don't get too mad at the slowdown, because like, sometimes you need it. Oh. Dang it. Oh. Oh, man. Ah, the crouch that avoids the jump kick. Crouch to pick up the bat. Ah. Where is it? That crazy door design. Like, what were they thinking with that? Oh, I forgot there's three of them. Oh, here comes the big boss. Got him. I'd like to get a few of those guys out of the way. Uh. Cut whiffed. Oh, shoot. Mm. Uh. I'm gonna get hit. The elbow just at the. Oh, yeah, just kill me in the back. Oh, you 
can't cross back through the fire, you moron. Oh, that just kills you right away. Get these jerks. Oh, why did I just stand there? I pushed the button, I swear. No, he can't do that so close to him. Oh. Wow, well, that is just instant death no matter what. No. Ooh. trying to get up after I get machine gun and it never seems to work. Just can't hit those guys now. Oh, I got the main guy because I couldn't even hit those guys. Yeah, you better run off, you dorks. I shouldn't call people names, but they made me mad. My brother isn't here, so we don't have to fight over you. Like real barbarians. Actually, that's a slur on barbarians. Well, I hung the game once, and then I did a little better. Good for me. Look at these big, bold names. Animator. Animator. I forgot the name of the main guy, and I wasn't paying attention there. Uh, it wasn't him. Because I think it's the same guy who basically invented this and... Uh... What's the other one? The f fighting game? No. Shit, I can't remember. Look it up. Double hello. Double dragon. Uh, why does Double Dragon Four not have a quick link to Double Dragon? Heck. Yoshihisa Kishimoto, Kishimoto, or Kishimoto, gosh, Yoshihisa Kishimoto, what did he do? He did Kunio-kun, and that's it. Yeah. He's with a different company now. I, mean, I thought he went and did a... Uh... Huh. Yeah, he was involved with Double Dragon 4, and I didn't think that was Plofit. No, it was just Arc System work, so I guess he didn't do it as part of his company. Profit. Founded in 2010, a self-employed company named after the trade name he used during his freelance days. Hmm. All right, well, thanks, Yoshi Isa. And, uh, 
Your game only hung on me once. I think that's the first time it's ever done that, so I guess that's pretty good. Ah, that's weird. English tier. Metan, Metan garage next to English tier. What does it mean? All right, I gotta go. I guess this game's still pretty good. Uh, unless you get it to hang on you by having a guy freeze between the spears. What the heck? And then I could have avoided it if I just went and touched him, probably. Oh, and I'm not even experiencing the true lag. The true slowdown you get with two players. Should I not enter my name? What is my high score, anyway? This game doesn't have a high score mode like later, uh, a separate high score mode like later um, Arcade Archives games. It's just got the one. So you can use continues all the way through and whatever. 5319 is my rank. Alright, well. That was messy. I guess I got a little mojo back once I got good and mad about the game hanging. But yeah, I... so this game definitely has something to it, and it's weird. I mean, it's, it was kind of, I, I guess I'll excuse myself and say it was easy to forget because it's, it's, uh, it's just that ineffable quality you can't quantify about this game, you know? Like, what? That's why so many people failed to to imitate it. Even, I mean, even Yoshihisa could never really duplicate the success of this game in terms of making another beat-em-up that felt just this satisfying. He couldn't do it. I mean, even, you know, Double Dragon 4 in recent years on modern consoles was, was bad. But uh, they, he kind of got obsessed with the whole NES aesthetic, doing all those NES conversions of Double Dragon and stuff. I guess that's what he got into, but I wish they'd done more real arcade games, you know? But they got weird, like Double Dragon 2 is just weird. It's just this weird parody version of this game, basically. Like, why? Why did they do that? And then they just weren't even interested in trying to do Double Dragon 3 themselves. Is it 3? They gave that to some Western team to make for the arcade. Like, they, they didn't even care about the arcade anymore. I guess they saw the writing on the wall. All about raking in that NES bucks. That any yeah, whatever. Well, who can blame them? Anywho, uh... Why was I thinking about Technos Japan? Oh, because they also made, uh... Uh... Karate Champ. I guess that wasn't Yoshihisa, though. Karate Champ, which basically re... sort of laid the groundwork for, for what would be standardized as fighting games. Because there were other fighting games before that, but... Karate Champ kind of set the mold when it came along in... Okay, that was 84. So that was way before... That was three years before Double Dragon, and Yoshihisa wasn't involved. Yoshihisa... He worked on Renegade, of course. And then he did the NES Renegade the next year, so that was his first taste of the NES. His director on both of those. Director on Double Dragon. And Super Dodgeball. Super Dodgeball... Well, that's the arcade version, which... I actually did like the NES version of Super Dodgeball better than the arcade version. The arcade version is hard to go back to now. So, I mean, you know, he definitely had something with the NES. Double Dragon on the NES is pretty good in its own way. He was director on Double Dragon 2 The Revenge, so what the heck happened there? But he's also director after that of WWF Superstars, which is that the one everybody likes? No, oh, that's not quite the one. WrestleFest, that's later. He was director on that. Is that the one everybody likes? I think that one might be it. That was 91. Man, he was director on 
So much stuff, and then producer on a ton of stuff. What a guy. Anyway. Uh, so this game still rules. I, you know, you just can't, can't deny it, can't get away from it. It's got, it's got the stuff, whatever that was, that no other game has really been able to, to, to copy. Even Yoshihisa himself couldn't. Uh, you just gotta play Double Dragon, that's all there is to it. And, uh, if you see a man frozen between the two spear-wielding statues right before the end hallway, uh, maybe don't leave him frozen there. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Thanks for watching. Good night.